All right, guys, welcome back to the uh, backhoe build. Uh, today, we are working on the crowd arm. Kind of threw this little drawing together. So far, what we have in blue is the things that we've already built. So we built the mounting frame. It's already done. Slew pivot, um, and the boom arm was last week. This week, we are doing the crowd arm. Now, the bucket's gonna attach right down here. So we're kind of on the home stretch. We still have the arms to do. Um, but the crowd arm is the project for today. Um, this is the blueprint for it. And as you guys have may have noticed, it is not on the wall anymore. Last week, we built this big 4x8 whiteboard, um, which if you guys want some information on that, let us know. It was only probably 40 bucks from Home Depot. Got this whole thing built, so that's pretty cool. Um, but here's the blueprints for it. It's going to be one of the easier projects that we've done. Uh, the other ones have taken all day or multiple days to do. This one, probably half a day to get this one done. So um, with that being said, let's jump into it. You know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna cut some metal, weld it together, show you what it looks like when we're done. Let's go. So we're going to show you how to measure out for these brackets right here, how you get this little curve on it. Um, if you look at the plans here, we have our piece. It is a three inch wide by four inch long um, flat stock. So this is the detail that we're going to go to right here that's going to show us how to get that curve. All right, so on here you see an R one and a half. So that's that radius right there. So to find that, you have to find this little crosshair right here. Don't worry about the circle right here. There's another crosshair in the middle of that. That shows you where you need to drill that hole, the center point for that hole. We're just worried about this crosshair right here. So to find that, you're gonna go up an inch and a half. That's gonna be your horizontal line. And then you're gonna go from the edge of this over an inch and a half. That's gonna be your vertical line. So from there, you're gonna point it out, take a, we use a compass and we just round it off. And then you'll draw your line back here. You'll measure an inch straight to there where they match up. That's where you cut it. A compass radius is gonna be inch and a half. That's what the R stands for. So set to compass is an inch and a half. Yeah. And then that'll give you that radius from that point. So here it is on uh, the actual piece of metal right here. So I have the inch line is marked as you saw in the blueprints. And then I drew my inch and a half over, my inch and a half up, and I put a little punch right there so I can draw my radius. So all you do is you're gonna take your center of your compass and the compass works the best. You could probably use a string and a nail or something uh, to also, also accomplish this. But you're just gonna take your compass, inch and a half, and you're just gonna round it. So I just kind of draw a little half circle and then we're gonna connect the lines here. That's going to be your, your piece. Now we'll go back and we'll measure again and find the center of the hole. Um, I believe it's one inch that we have to drill. We have to take a, a hole saw and drill a one inch hole. Now I just kind of center punch that just so that my compass could have a little something to write on so I, I kind of got a better angle there. But that's the basics of it right there. So there's quite a few of them that you have to do on this project, but that's the easiest way we found. It works great, so we'll keep doing that.
got our uh, holes drilled, everything sanded down for our brackets, um, drilled and tapped for our bushings. We got our holes drilled in our crowd arm. Now the fun part. Now we upgraded the size, the width, I guess, or the thickness of this piece of metal here. The plans, if you go with a, a smaller one, you have to actually make a bracket for it. So because we upgraded the size, we can actually cut this metal piece out and use it as a one solid piece so we don't have to do a couple different brackets. So keep that in mind if you do end up wanting to build this. If you go with the bigger size, you can do it all in one piece. And, it, and he explains that in the, the letter that he sent you. So this is what we have drawn out right now. So this little metal piece, we have to cut out and we're gonna weld, I think it's this one here. We're gonna cut it and then we're gonna have to weld it on the inside of this. This is this drawing, this line here is just kind of for reference what it's gonna look like. It's gonna have a hole drilled into it so we can get the uh, greaser that's gonna be on the inside of this. So the blueprints, I'll show you that real quick. So this is basically all we're doing. Instead of having these little brackets that he has, we've upgraded and it says right here, if you upgrade, you can do it at a, as one piece. So we didn't do those little brackets. So we're gonna cut that piece off, um, then we're gonna trim and get these uh, little angles that we need, and then weld it all together. And that's all we have left. Cut that one piece and just get it all welded. So let's do that. piece cut out this is what it looks like I know I had the little drawing on it showed you what the blueprint this is what it looks like so we cut the little middle piece out we cut our angle on it nice and flat this is just the leftover metal that came off of this top piece drilled a hole in it so we can get this grease fitting back here that runs this uh, bushing um, it's a little small I know doesn't fit quite right but it's just there to, to help block it and so you can get in there uh, for the grease that's all there is to that we're gonna tack everything up. We're gonna throw it on that real quick so we can make sure our bushings line up. And if everything's good, we're gonna full blown weld it and be done. So let's get to that. cylinder bracket kind of warped on us when we welded it we kind of bent it back out um, but there you go there it is so far next video is going to be the stabilizer arms on both sides and video after that will be the bucket stay tuned springtime is finally here so we can spend a little more time in the shop and not freeze like we have been but uh take a look there you go